This is the ancient Greek city of Miletus. It is still the sixth day of our trip in Western Turkey. We just visited Ephesus and now we proceed further south in direction to Miletus, or called Miletus, one of the main ancient cities at the Aegean coast of Turkey. And the first thing we see is the large ancient theater of Miletus. This is the ancient Greek city of Miletus and this is its ancient theater, one of the main remains from the ancient city. This place is mentioned in the Bible when Apostle Paul begs from Greece on his way to Jerusalem. He wanted to skip Ephesus because he was more urgent to arrive in Jerusalem. So Paul stopped here in Miletus and met with the elders of the church of Ephesus, who arrived from Ephesus to here especially to meet him. Paul gave them some important instructions and encouragements, but also said farewell to them because he knew that he will not back to Ephesus again. Then they separated the elders back to Ephesus and Paul proceeded on his way. And it is always interesting to see the scene of an event like this, how Miletus looked like about 2000 years ago. How was the life and the scenery in these distant ancient times? The ancient theater of Miletus is the most spectacular site in the city. There are many ancient Greek and Roman theaters in the world, but this one is of special interest. Normally, when we visit these places, we see mainly stairs and seats in semicircle shape. But the ancient theater of Miletus has something more, one of the best tunnel systems under the open seat area. We enter the tunnels of the ancient theater. They lead us to three underground levels, each one with exits to the open seat area. We ascend to the highest level with the best panoramic views and proceed our walk. From here we can observe the whole site of Miletus and its ruins. And we proceed to explore the rest of the ancient city. What we can see today is a large plain around it. But once it was a sea bay and Miletus was a sea harbor. It is unclear when Miletus was built, but the archaeological artifacts suggest at least the early Bronze Age. The city was established as a local Anatolian non-Greek settlement and after destruction and restoration, the Ionian Greeks came and renewed it turning it into a Greek city. Miletus was famous for its philosopher's school, 
and Thales of Miletus was one of the best known philosophers. In the beginning of the 5th century BC, Miletus started the Ionian revolt against the Persians. The revolt was crushed, but during the Persian rule, the city was independent most of the time. However, the city's golden age was the Hellenistic and Roman times, when Miletus was a significant center of trade and culture. This is another interesting point in Miletus, the Roman baths called the Baths of Faustina. They were built in the 2nd century AD in honor of Faustina, the wife of Emperor Marcus Aurelius. About 200 years later, the coastline changed and the harbour remained far from the sea. It was the beginning of the decline of Miletus. Later, the Byzantine emperors and the Turks tried to revive the city, but it was unsuccessful. It gradually turned into a small, insignificant town, then to a village among ruins, until finally the last inhabitant left it during the Ottoman times. Now it is discovered again and turned into a tourist attraction. There is a small museum just a kilometer from the ruins, presenting artifacts from the site and around it. We leave Miletus at the end of this day and we reach Bodrum, one of the most beautiful Turkish coastal cities. Bodrum has a lot to reveal and tomorrow we are going to explore it. So stay with us in our Western Turkey trip and subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon for more video journeys.